Hi, this is Lara at Elliott Wave Stock Market with your weekly analysis for gold for the training week done on Wednesday, 24th of April. I'm recording this video now, 10.30 in the evening nearly, on New York time, Wednesday the 24th of April. At the daily chart level, my wave count remains the same. I had expected after last analysis that Minuet Wave 4 was over and we should have seen downwards movement for the week for Minuet Wave 5. But I did state also at the end of that analysis that I could not confirm that the fourth wave was over because there was no five down on the hourly chart. So we had to accept the possibility that the fourth wave could continue yet higher and that's what it's done. When it's over, and it should be over pretty soon now, we should see a resumption of the downwards trend. Minute wave 3 will reach 2.618 the length of minute wave 1 at 1273. When we get to about that point, we should expect to see a longer lasting fourth wave correction. And then more downwards movement to end minor wave 3. Another correction for a fourth wave. The end of intermediate wave 3 still weeks away. At 1232, it will reach 4.236, the length of intermediate wave 1. That is an unusual Fibonacci ratio, but it is mathematically correctly a Fibonacci ratio. Price has already passed 1.618 and 2.618 the length of intermediate wave 1, so that's the next Fibonacci ratio in the sequence. And then we'll have another fourth wave correction and more downwards movement. Primary wave C will reach 1.618 the length of primary A at 1151 and that would complete a fourth wave zigzag correction at cycle degree for gold. When minute wave 3 is over and we expect a correction for a fourth wave at minute degree, it can't move back into minute wave 1 price territory above 1555.16. Let's have a look at this fourth wave structure on the hourly chart where the start of it down here and the end of minuet wave 3 is this point down here. I've taken quite some time to try and look at what possible structure could be unfolding in this fourth wave position. I had expected at last analysis that it was a single brief zigzag structure that was over here. But we didn't have a clear 5 down, we never got that, so I couldn't confirm that the fourth wave correction was over, and we had to accept the possibility that it could continue further, and that's what it's done. So I've considered there are 13 possible corrective structures for this fourth wave, I've considered them all, and I'm the only one that has a good fit in terms of subdivision is a rare triple zigzag, so I think that may be what we're seeing here. No matter what structure I consider for this fourth wave correction, I come to the conclusion that it cannot be over and we're likely to see more upwards movement yet for gold. So within this rare triple zigzag, within the first zigzag and the triple, labelled sub minuet wave W, microwaves A and C are pretty close to equality. Here's the first X wave, a 3 in the opposite direction, joining the first and second structures in this triple, itself is a zigzag, with no Fibonacci ratio between microwaves A and C. Here's the second zigzag in the triple, again, no adequate ratio between A and C waves. Within subminuet wave Y, we have a 5-3 ending contracting diagonal 5 wave structure. Here's the second three in the opposite direction joining the second and third zigzags in this triple labelled sub-minuet wave X and this is where the final and third zigzag labelled sub-minuet wave Z begins. If we see equality between microwaves A and C that would take price up to 1451 but as we've seen those ratios between A and C waves really aren't that reliable. What's going to be most reliable is this parallel channel. It's drawn as a best fit, and so far, on the upside, we're seeing it provide some support for downwards movement. Although we do have a pretty good spike here, there is no clear channel breach. When this channel is very clearly breached with downwards movement, that will be a first indication that the third zigzag, subminuet wave Z, would be over, and because a triple is the maximum number of corrective structures within a multiple, that means at that stage, minuet wave 4 must be over.
the mini wet wave 5 should then be underway. You can use that target for minute wave 3 on the daily chart. Mini wet wave 4 may not move into mini wet wave 1 price territory. The invalidation point remains the same at 1540.24. So in the short term, I'm expecting a little bit more upwards movement, at least for gold. That corrective structure, no matter what possibility I look at, is incomplete. When that's done, use that channel on the hourly chart to give you a first indication as to when the correction is finally over and the next wave down should then be underway. That's all for me today with your gold analysis, and I hope that everybody had a fabulous week.